This report includes graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Early this year, the Sri Lankan army closed in on the remnants of the Tamil Tigers, penning them into a small corner of northern Sri Lanka. It was the final act in a merciless 26-year civil war. Both sides have alleged the other was guilty of atrocities. Rarely has evidence surfaced to support the claims. But what you are about to see are extremely disturbing images. Sources in Sri Lanka tell CNN they were shot in January. A naked, bound and blindfolded man is pushed to the ground. Men who appear to be wearing army uniforms kick him. Then he is shot in the back of the head. Someone speaking in Sinhala, the majority language in Sri Lanka, says, I think he looked back. Then another man is pushed to the ground and is also shot. Someone is heard saying, this is like hitting midgets. The video, apparently shot on a cell phone, then reveals a total of nine dead bodies lying close to one another in an open field. It's impossible to tell whether the victims are civilians or fighters. The video was obtained by a group called Journalists for Democracy in Sri Lanka, which is based in Germany and has accused the government of harassing and intimidating journalists. CNN cannot independently verify where or when it was shot. Observers were excluded from the conflict zone in Sri Lanka and access remains tightly restricted. Sri Lanka's military spokesman Udaya Nanayakara told us by phone the men in the video are absolutely not members of Sri Lankan military. How are you sure that those are not Sri Lankan soldiers if you, you yourself say you can't see the faces? It's not Sri Lankan soldiers. I, I can assure that it's, it's not Sri Lankan soldiers. So these are all doctored uh, ones and, uh, and there are no uh, executions like that has happened. So you're basically saying that this is all fake? This is all fake. Human rights groups take a different view. The Sri Lankan government has had a pattern of lying during this conflict. Given the restrictions on the media, the fact that the government is not allowing people um, f to freely interview the displaced, who may be able to share accounts of what happened in the final months of the war, it's urgent that there is an independent investigation. P. Sahadevan is a professor in South Asian studies in New Delhi and has studied the Sri Lankan conflict for years. Your initial reaction? It's a human slaughter. It's a, absolutely a human slaughter. It's, it's, it's pathetic. It's horrible. The full facts seem unlikely to surface. The government routinely rejects calls by human rights groups for independent investigations into its campaign against the Tigers. But it says it will try to find out who is trying to discredit the Sri Lankan government by releasing this video. Sarah Seidner, CNN, New Delhi.